To win a free half hour phone reading with me, please comment below. And on social media, please tag my video with at Kalina on Twitter or Kalina Psychic Readings on Facebook to be entered into a draw to win a free half hour reading. And this reading can be international because we have WhatsApp. If anyone's interested, my two courses, Psychic Palm Reading and Advanced Psychic Development, are now on Udemy.com. Just go to Udemy and search Kalina. On uh, the palm reading, you can learn how to do your marriage lines, your children lines, and the advanced psychics uh, tips are what the guardians taught me. Capricorn, December 2020. This is going to be a month about honor and getting back to basics. There's an energy here where it has a lot to do with connecting with home, connecting with family, especially your mother. There's an aura where it's about taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. Some really beautiful energy here. So a few dates to keep an eye on. And just please know that the dates I'm going to be speaking about, I'm going to post in the link below to my blog. Just so you can, if you need to come back and remember what the dates are, they're, they're going to be posted there. On December 1st, we have a full moon in Gemini. Now for Capricorns, this is going to be a thinking moon. This is going to be a moon to kind of... The, the order they keep showing here is about stepping back and looking at the bigger picture. Sorry if you hear that, that's my cat DJ. So it's a thinking moon. It's a moon to reflect and to think about, okay, where do I want to go now? And to focus on what is your foundation? Where, where do you want to start? On December 7th, sorry, December 2nd, we have the moon in Cancer. So for Capricorns, anything that happens in Cancer, this is your full moon. This is the zodiac sign that becomes your reflection. So with the moon in Cancer, this is going to be a moon about getting you to see a little bit more of your power. It's about clearing any energy, any blocks into your power. So a very beautiful day. On December 5th, we have the moon in Leo. This is going to be a moon to have fun and to laugh and to play, especially connecting with your mom and to connect with siblings. That energy is going to be very, very strong. On December 7th, we have the moon in Virgo. So this will be a working moon. This will be a moon where whatever is on your to-do list or anything that you need to get done, this will be a great time to do it because you're going to get more done than expected. On December 9th, we have the moon in Libra. Now for Capricorns, there's two zodiac signs that are your teachers, and that is Libra and Aries. So anything that happens in Libra or Aries are often lessons or opportunities to grow. Now with the moon in Libra, this is going to be an opportunity for you to think outside the box. It's going to be an opportunity to have more fun and to, they're showing an energy where connecting to nature and to connect with animals and play, that that's what they're focusing on. A very significant day is going to be December 10th. We have a square with the sun in Sagittarius and Neptune in Pisces. So for Capricorn, this will be an opportunity for you to energetically or spiritually grow. So you may want to learn something new or you may be drawn to a new spiritual practice that will help open up your heart. It's an energy where it's about you connecting in your way to the universe. A very, very beautiful energy. A lot of nature. They keep showing a lot of energy connecting with forests, the ocean, like anything nature the next wee bit. Just see what you feel and connect to that. On December 11th, we have the moon in Scorpio. So this will be a moon, a very psychic moon for Capricorns. This will help you understand more of your dreams. It will help you understand more of your energies. Working with crystals or stones will be very powerful during this time. On December 13th, we have the moon in Sagittarius. So this is a new moon. And with this new moon in Sagittarius, everyone's going to feel this to a degree. It's all about learning and higher knowledge. Now, for Capricorns, it's going to be more about new experiences. It's going to be more about spending time outside, connecting with animals, and reaching out to friends that maybe you haven't spoken to in a bit. But it's about re reconnection. That that's what they're focusing on here. On the 15th, we have December 15th, we have the moon in Capricorn. So what this means is when you were born, the sun was in Capricorn. So in real time, when the moon goes into Capricorn, because the moon changes zodiac signs every two and a half days. So when the moon goes into Capricorn, for you, it's a new moon. It's a beginning. So on the December 15th, you're going to feel this fresh energy. You're going to feel 
ready for a positive change. And this is a great time for new beginnings, to start something, to learn something, a very, very beautiful day for you. So usually the energy is much more lighter during a new moon for you. A new moon in Capricorn, I should say. And, uh, or when the energy is going to feel much better when the moon goes into Capricorn. On December 16th, we have Venus going into Sagittarius. So Venus in the Sagittarius is about freedom of love. It's about loving the person to let them be who they are. And it's this energy for you and your partner where you love and respect each other's path, both independently and together. If you're single, there's an energy where you may have a vision of the partner coming to you. A lot of psychic energy around. December 17th, we have the moon going into Aquarius. So this is, again, going to be um, much more freedom. Like that, that's the order they're focusing on here. It's freedom. It's the energy that keeps going for December. It's about getting back to basics and to focus on what is honor. So December 17th, with that moon in Aquarius, you're going to feel it's about going back to the basics, going back to the beginning and find out what do you want? Where do you want to grow? On December 18th, and a very important day, we have Saturn going into Aquarius. So Saturn has been in Aquari um, has been in Capricorn the last couple of years. So Capricorns, you've been going through a lot of transformation, very positive energy. So now that it's leaving your zodiac sign, you're going to feel this energy being taken off your shoulders. You're going to feel this release and just liberation, this very, very beautiful energy. It's going to be much more lighter than it has been the last couple of years. And with that Saturn in Aquarius, it's going to be, Saturn will be in Aquarius December 18th, 2020 until March 8th, 2023. It's about having fun. It's about rewarding yourself for the last couple of years of hard work. So very, very beautiful energy. On December 20th, we have the moon going into Aries. And remember anything in Aries and Libra for Capricorns are your teachers. So there could be a lesson or it could be um, a, a, a it can be a family member or friend where you might have words with one another to help each other grow, but trust your intuition, trust what you need to say. And it's okay to make sure that you're being heard. So if you feel like you're not being heard, speak up. Um, and also too, on December 20th, we have Jupiter going into Aquarius. So Jupiter in Aquarius is very lovely. It's going to be a very playful year. It's going to be a year to have fun and just to, to celebrate because Capricorns, you guys are very hard workers. You're very serious. You want to work hard and do things right. And the next year, the Aquarius energy is going to give you permission to enjoy the hard work you've done and to, to reward yourself. And Jupiter will be in Aquarius from December 20th, 2020 until December 30th, 2021. On to December 22nd, we have the moon going into Aries. Oh, sorry. On December 22nd, we have the Capricorn, the sun going into Capricorn. So with the sun on your sun sign, it's going to illuminate. Like it's a very, it's a very beautiful time of just growth, renewal, just lovely energy for Capricorns. On December 24th, the moon goes into Taurus. So for Capricorns, you really understand Taurus. So with that Taurus energy, you're going to feel more grounded. It's going to be about connecting with family, connecting with home. What is home to you? Do you want to rearrange the bedroom? Do you want to rearrange the house? Do you want to clean? Those energies may be a bit stronger. On December 27th, we have the moon going into Gemini. So this is a thinking moon. This is a great time for ideas, inspiration, to be very creative. Those auras are going to be quite lovely. And then on December 29th, we have a full moon in Cancer. So with a full moon in Cancer, this is a very psychic moon. There'd be a lot of dreams around you, a lot of intuition, a lot of um, Reiki energies, anything like that would be very powerful. I'd recommend maybe even considering, if, you're, if you don't have your Reiki level one, maybe consider getting it. If you do Reiki, do some Reiki training, like whatever you feel comfortable, and to work with crystals, that energy would be very perfect for a Capricorn.